Hello community, I hope you are doing good. In this discussion, we will see CLI commands, specifically how you can install or upgrade the module. All right. And in case you missed previous discussion about basic CLI commands, please check link is given in the description. If you want to learn more about Odoo, you can visit the Wablens channel. Under the home screen, you can see here Odoo 17 and 18 development tutorial. Right now, we are working on this playlist. By the way, if you are a beginner and want to learn from the beginning, you can visit this playlist because this is the main playlist of the Odoo 17 and 18 development tutorial. All right. So let's back to our main topic and guys, if you didn't subscribe this channel, please subscribe. It will give you the latest update about the upcoming sessions. All right. So how you can install or update the module, right? So from here, we can go to the app store and directly we can upgrade the module or let's say click to this active button. It will automatically install the module, right? But let's say this is from the front end side, how you can also do the same operation in the back end side. So let's see here in the terminal. Let me active the Odoo service. Let's say here and one more thing is you already guys know we already created this weblands.config file, right? So we are using this file. So for that python odoo desk b minus c weblands.config. That's it. Right, so this is our all right. So you can see it's already the port number it's used, right? Somehow. So let me stop from here from the PyCharm. And now let's see here. So right now it's working fine, right? Now let's say you can see here the CRM module is not installed. You can see here the status also, right? Once you click here, you can see active button. So for that, also let me active the developer mod. Here you can see the full description and the technical data, right? Here you can see the module name is CRM. So for that, let me control C clear. Then after I want to use only minus I and CRM. That's it. And once I click to enter, now you can see here it will automatically install that module and uh, the thing is first it will check the dependent modules if dependent module is not installed so first it's trying to create that module first and then after the crm module and in our case you can see it's upgraded i mean installed right once i refresh the screen now you can see here instead of this active button it will change into upgrade and uninstall right so this is the main thing here and now if I will go to here, you can see the CRM menu available. So this is the first case. Now let's say if you want to update any existing module, right? Let's say the sales management or cell or account, then it is also possible. Here what we have to do is, here instead of this minus I, by the way, this minus I stands for the install, okay? Like this. And then after we have to use minus u and here simple we can do one thing like let's say cell module yeah you can see here all right so it's done right now question is if you have a multiple modules to install right then what you have to do so simple thing is for example let's say if you have a multiple uh, let's say module names right then what what you can do is you can see here let's see the purchase and stock right so here i will do is purchase comma stock and then after enter and now you can see here you can see here this line particular and it will directly install one by one both module all right so it's done so let me refresh the screen and let's verify here right let me go to here installed and now you can see the stock and the purchase both modules already installed right you can also add multiple modules like this way all right 
uh, for the same we can also use here minus u then after specific module name or let's say the CRM contact or oh, let me verify the contact yeah so it's installed contacts right so let contacts let me remove this too and our, we have to separate both modules using comma operator and that's it so you can see here how many files it's upgrading right and that's it here you can see and once I will refresh let me click to the installed you can see it's automatically upgrade here right so yeah so this is the way using the CLI command you can install and upgrade the module all right so guys if you have any doubt related to this topic please comment below and see you in our next session